I'm Corrine Levy, and welcome to Rumor Has It, the show that rounds up the week's biggest tech rumors. And you can vote on what you think about the rumors, too, in the interactive player if you're watching on CNET. If it's ever a slow week in rumor land, I can always rely on Apple to make things interesting. And LG and Sony might have some tricks up their sleeves, so let's get started. First up, LG Electronics has filed for a series of trademarks that may point to a tablet, smartwatch, and other devices, according to a report from PocketDroid. The G-Pad, G-Watch, G-Glass, G-Link, G-Band, and the G-Hub are among the trademark names. So G-Pad would likely be a tablet, G-Band could be an activity monitor, and G-Watch would be, you guessed it, a smartwatch. So trademark filings don't necessarily mean that all of these products are in the works, of course, but come on. I'm sure LG is working on a smartwatch and tablet and all those other things. Everybody else is. Next, according to the blog Sony Alpha, Sony is reportedly working on a lens attachment for your mobile device. The lens would have a built-in sensor, battery, and memory so it could mount onto a smartphone or be used on its own. It would send photos to your smartphone or tablet through Wi-Fi or NFC. Even further, the lens would supposedly employ the same sensor and Zeiss lens found on Sony's DSC RX100 M2 digital camera, which means it's awesome. Smartphones with huge camera sensors is nothing to scoff at, at least not out loud. I'm looking at you, Nokia 1020, with your 41 megapixel shooter. But that's already built into your phone. If you have to schlep around a separate attachment, wouldn't you just schlep around your already awesome camera? The Sony Alpha blog says that this rumor is almost certain to come true. But judging by the number of exclamation points that they use on their site, I'd argue that it probably won't. And finally, according to the Wall Street Journal, Apple has been testing iPad screens in recent months that measure almost 13 inches diagonally, and iPhone screens larger than their current 4-inch size. This seems to follow a report from Reuters last month, which said that Apple was considering the introduction of at least two bigger iPhones next year, one with a 4.7-inch screen and the other a 5.7-incher. I don't know about you guys, but I think that the iPhone screen is big enough. As it is, I have a hard time fitting it into my pocket. Of course, this would put the phone in direct competition with that biggie Galaxy Note 2 and even the Galaxy S4. Is that something you'd be into? I don't think my pant pockets could handle it. What do you guys think? Is Apple working on an even bigger iPhone and iPad? Don't forget to vote and leave a comment, and I'll ask the CNET Council what it thinks. The CNET Council is composed of five editors who cast their votes anonymously. Their opinions are not an endorsement by CNET or CBS Interactive. Obviously, because these are rumors, folks. And the CNET Council's verdict is... Yes, four out of five editors think that Apple is working on bigger screens for the iPhone and the iPad. One editor says that just because they're working on it, however, doesn't mean it's going to come out anytime soon. That's our show, everybody. Please share your rumors at rumorhasit at cnet.com or call us at 1-800-750-CNET and tweet us. And tune in next week for more tech rumors.